Morning everybody. I hope you've had a good week. The sun is shining, so uh, it's all good this morning. So let's just uh, check our workspace. Um, a ball, just for one activity, if you've got it, if you haven't, it doesn't matter. Your band, and obviously your block, if you want to use it for your balance. So here we go, let's just take those feet hip width. With that little rock backwards and forwards. Bringing your weight back to the middle, just shifting it side to side. And then start to take it round in that circle. If you feel confident enough to shut your eyes, you can shut your eyes. And just notice how you're transferring your weight through all those, all the parts of the foot and then back the other way. Bringing yourself back to that neutral position. Good. Tipping this, that pelvis forward and backwards. That vision of the water coming out the front and out the back. Good. Keep those knees nice and soft. Lovely. So just gently interlock the fingertips, rest them onto that rib cage, drop those shoulders, and let's just breathe in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Feel how those ribs are expanding, fingers are just parting as you take that deep thoracic breath. Breathing in and breathing out. Good, drop your hands down by your side. We're gonna bring the arms across the body, up to the ceiling, up onto the toes. Everything coming down together this time. Good, so here we go, breathing in and breathing out. For the next three, you can shut your eyes, just focus on the breath. Harder coming up onto the toes with those eyes shut, so just be careful. <laughs> Good, have a little wobble there. So a little shoulder roll, elbow, and a big arm circle. And shoulder, elbow, arm circle. And just two arm circles forward. A little bit of resistance on the front. Good, we're just gonna place that right hand on the left side of the head. And we're gonna push that head into that hand working on strengthening the muscles in the neck. Keeping those muscles in the neck nice and strong will help us combat any um, osteo conditions on the other side, which will help us keep nice and tall rather than that head dropping forward. Now place the hand on the front of the forehead and push into that hand. And while you're doing this, you can really focus as well on those soft knees, on that nice pelvic lift and that nice core pulling in, tummy button to spine. And then change hands, put the hand behind the head, push into the head, into the hand, sorry. And relax, good. Okay, we're gonna swing those arms this morning. Every fourth one, we're gonna circle them round. So here we go. Oh, it might help if I start my watch. Here we go. So we're doing forward, back, forward, circle, and back, forward, back, and circle, and forward, back, forward, and round. Let those arms just swing nice and loose at the bottom. They should feel really heavy. Just mobilising these shoulders. 
also brings that heart rate up a little bit. So last one, forward, back, forward, circle, back, forward, back, and circle. Good, well done. Leave them where they are and just go into that little side sequence. And side, and side. Good, just take it as far down as you feel you can. And then we're going to bring the arm over the top and back and over and back. So I'm feeling quite stiff in that hip area at the minute this morning. So I'm just taking it to where I feel I'm getting a stretch, but not over stretching. Now bring this other arm up, up to the ceiling reaching tall, turning the palms, pushing away. Good, other side, reaching over. Collect that hand up to the ceiling and push down. One more each side, so we're stretching over, bringing this other hand up, turning. So this is an example where we are losing that connection between our ribs and our hips because we're lifting the ribs right up and push. So hands onto your waist and let's just circle those hips round. Trying this time to keep the shoulders still. So just trying to get as much mobility as possible. And then back the other way. Okay, lovely. We're going to open the chest muscles today using the band with our nice pec stretch. I've done that for a few weeks. So we're going to bring the band behind us. Not too much tension, remember. And try and remember your neutral setup. So soft knees, core engage. Um, oh, hang on. <laughs> Bringing it out the front, aren't we? You see, I've done it for such a long time, I forgot. So breathing in to prepare, bring the band up and onto your shoulder area. Exhale as you let the arms join at the back. Now, nice deep breath here. And release. And bring it back over. Good. So we're going to do that again. So we're going to breathe in. Exhale. Now breathe in here. And bring it back over or just over your shoulder let go of the band if you need to so the second two are about uh, sort of bottom of the shoulder blades bra strap height so breathing in exhale as we go back feel the squeeze further down into that thoracic spine now breathe in and breathe out good bring it back and again Breathing in, breathing out, holding that breath in, uh, holding the band there, breathing in, and out, back to the top. Okay, these next two, you can shorten the band. We're going to go all the way down to our side, breathing in, pull, 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 turn those palms in and just push the arms away. Lovely. Okay, back to the top. And then this one, we're going to take that uh, bend of the knees, hinge of the hips, and then take those arms over our shoulders. So breathing in, pull the way down, turn those palms in, push them away, bend your knees, hinge at the hips, and just find a little bit more mobility in those shoulders. Be unraveling the arms, drop the band, and just let your arms hang low. Please make sure you've got those knees bent because we haven't stretched the legs yet. Breathing in at the bottom and then exhale as you take that little roll up. Good. Okay, bring the band round and we're going to go into bicep. So under one of your feet, 
Find the length that you need. You may have marked your band so that you know where you use it for bicep. If you're like me, you haven't. <laughs> so, elbows tucked in. Let's think of that nice tall posture. Let's focus on keeping out of these hips, really tall posture throughout the class. So breathing in, exhale as we bring them up. And if you think, well, it's not quite enough resistance, you can work your hands down the band a little bit more until you find, yep, yeah, that's for me. So checking in with the knees. Pelvic floor at least at floor three. And tummy button to spine. Here we do another six. And then I want you to just change your feet over. Just a little shuffle with those feet there. And then we're gonna do the little pulse ones. Please on this one, come out whenever you want. So breathing in, exhale, take it up. Now just give a little bit and go again. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Well done. So pop that band down on the floor. I'm just going to have a quick drink and a bit croaky today. Okay, so next little move I want you to do is I want you to bring yourself down into a little lunge position. All right, so that front knee is bent, but it's not pushing over the toe. That's not good for the knee. And the back knee, toe is tucked under, and it's also bent. All right, and then we're going to just come up from that position and go down. Now we're going to just bring the arms in. So as we come up, arm comes up, arm comes down. Arms come up, arm goes down, and up, and down, up, and down. Okay, come back to um, a stand position while you have a little look where we're going now. You can either stick with that, or if you'd like a little bit more of a challenge, it is a bit of a balance challenge too. So um, if you think you do need to have a chair, you'll need to have the chair on the same side as the front knee is bent. So we're here, and this time when we come up, we're going to push into Flamingo. Lunge, Flamingo. Okay, so are we ready? So find your base, make sure you're nice and stable. And um, if you get the the right arm forward opposite the left knee or the other way around if you're doing it. So we lunge, coming up, flamingo, lunge, flamingo, lunge, flamingo, lunge, flamingo. Good, four more. So really focusing on using that support foot. You can really feel those toes gripping the floor. Well done, turn round. Just take one little plie up, turn your feet around, and let's go on the other side. So we start with that bent front leg, bent back leg, toe tucked under, just coming up and down, up and down. Now we incorporate the arms, so up, and up, <laughs> down, up, down, up, down. And now we're gonna, if you want, take that flamingo position. 
So we're down as we come up. Opposite hand comes up to help with the counterbalance. Down, up, down, up. So you really want to be focusing on a point to help maintain that balance. Gripping with that toe and pulling that tiny button in to your spine. Up, down, two more, up, down, up, down. Good, I hope you enjoyed that. I've got something to add on to that next week as well, just to make it a little bit more challenging. So we will just do a little bit more balance work on the block or on the floor if you prefer. Okay, so we're going to come up. Doesn't matter which foot, just remember which one. Just go back a bit. And we'll just do four normal knee lifts. We've just done a little bit of work on that balance. Good, nice floaty arms. And four. Okay, so what we're going to try today is knee comes up, leg goes forward, leg comes out the side. But then from there, it comes back forward, in and down. All right, so are we ready? Knee comes up, straight leg forward, straight leg out, stay tall. Straight leg back forward, bend and in. Oh, slightly more challenging. Bringing that leg from side to front, bend in and up, forward, side, forward, bend, down, two more, and up, forward, out, in, bend, down, last one, coming up, forward, out, in, Bend and down. Good, I quite enjoyed that. Very nice. Right, we're going to stretch at the end. So turn that block straight over and back onto my wobble side. So making sure you're gripping with those toes, core engaged, pelvic floor lifted, remember, and up we go. Just four of these. Good, and we're going to go straight into that little sequence. So it's up, forward, side, oops, back to the front, bend. Good. See if you can take that foot back to the front at the height where it is at the side rather than drop it down. So sweep it back. So you're drawing a line out and you're repeating that line coming back in. Two more. Stay strong, stay tall. Good, last one. Nicely done. Checking in on those toes, turning that block sideways. If you've not got your block, remember you do single heel pedals, and then when I say change, you go into double ones. If not, feet over the edge of the block and just rest the arms down onto your bottom, pushing into those heels. It's going to feel tight around those calf muscles. Oh, very tight. <laughs> And now we're going to just take that little lean in as much as you feel you can, but trying to lean in as opposed to bending and hinging at the hips. Good. Now we're going to lift one heel up. If you're on the floor, this is where you change to double heel lifts. As you're on the block, you're pushing that heel down against some sort of resistance. And if you're standing on the floor and doing your double heel lifts, 
you have to think of the same, that those heels are trying to push something down to the floor or there's something there that's resisting you pushing your heels down. So using that visualization to get the movement that we want. Last four, three, two, making sure we're not shimmying those hips about, one, back to straight. And that should feel a lot more comfortable now. Well done, and off we go. Excellent. Right, we pop the block to the side, can't remember if we need it later. And we're going into some nice, stretching the legs into some nice deep squats. So we've got plie squats again today. And we're going to take that nice wide base. We're going to breathe in. Go exhale, we're going to come down and just check in first that you're sitting in a comfortable position. So that back and head would be against a wall. Sit bone, shining that torch down on the floor. So as we hold this position, we're now going to lift the arm up and over and back and over. Good, so a little bit more lateral flexion here. Okay, now stay here and lift the right heel, left heel. As you're doing this, try not to feel that the hips on the other side, anything is moving. So the only thing that's lifting is the heel. Hips are staying put. Good, now I want you to do double heel lifts. Ooh. Good, and squeeze those inner thighs together. Really probably felt those glutes tighten on that double heel lift. If it was too much, just continue with single ones. So here we go again, breathing in. Exhale, coming down. Starting with lateral flexion. So we're working those legs, but we're just adding in a little bit of upper body work at the same time. Good. Now we're going to heel lift singles. Hips still. Last one of those. Double heels if you can manage it. You might want to put your arms out for a little bit more Balance, breathing in, squeeze. Last set, breathing in, down we go. So you might be feeling this in a couple of days time. In those glutes. Oh, shouldn't, the quad should be fine. We do quite a lot of squats. Into single heel lifts. All the time focusing on pulling that tummy button in towards your spine, lifting that pelvic floor up to floor three at least. Double heels, here we go, last time and up. Two, three, four. Breathe in, squeeze, and that should release that tension, bringing those feet in until we can step happily. And then just take a drink before we have a little roll down. Okay, so our little sequence this morning is rolling down, walking our hands out to high plank. I want you to count five seconds, so it's like one elephant, two elephants, up to five. Lower the arms, five push-ups. Stay low into a low plank, five holds in a low plank, roll back up, repeat it three times. If you don't like any of those three moves on the floor, you can substitute it with anything else. All right, so feet hip width apart, breathing in, exhale, rolling down, bending the knees at the point you have to, and then either coming down onto your knees or walking your hands straight out. 
Remember, you're pushing your arms away. Your heart just goes down directly towards your mat, facing nose between your hands. Hold for five. Drop the knees down and five press ups. Bring those lower arms down, step in out, make sure the bottom is not sticking in the air, count for five. Bring the knees down, walk the hands back, heels down and come up to standing. Okay, I've just looked at the time, so we'll just do one more set of these rather than two, because there's quite a lot I want to do on the floor with you. So walk the hands out, so whatever stage you're at, Five, five and five. So you'll be probably at different stages to me. But I'll give you time when you finish the last low plank or whatever you're doing last. Just bring those knees wide and walk your hands back into a nice deep stretch. Very nice, well done. And then just gently get your head back up to a sitting position. Bring your legs round and we're going, surprise, surprise, side lying. <laughs> it's kind of just habit of going from, start from you know, our standing sequence to roll down to side lying. Okay, slight difference today though, when you're side lying. And what I want you to do is I want you to bend that bottom leg. All right, so you're probably going to feel a little bit more stable in this position. Just making sure again that you've got your head and back all in line, like with the edge of your mat. And then we're gonna lift this top leg up. And we're gonna circle round the little tennis ball. Six, seven, eight. We're gonna reverse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to flex the foot, bring it forward, dip it down for eight, lift, seven, six, five, four. Try and turn the toe down a little bit. Three, two, one, back, and six, uh, four little circles backwards. Four, three, two, one, forwards, four, three, two, one, flex the foot, bring it forward, tap it down, four, three, two, one, and two little circles, one, two, reverse it, one, two, bring it forward, flex, down, one, two, and then just bring that knee in and give that outer side a bit of a rub. And then from here, you can just push yourself up. You can take that little counter stretch. And we're going to change sides. I'll just look at where we go from here. So, lining yourself up and then just softening and bringing that bottom leg forward slightly. Top leg comes up. Here we go for little circles backwards. Out. 
and forwards. Good, flex the foot, bring it forward and dip it down and up. Coming back, little circles. Two, three, four. Reverse, two, three, four. Flex the foot forward, dip it down, four, three, two, one. Bring it back, two little circles. One, two, one, two. Flex the foot forward, down, one, two, oh, and in. Well done. Give that hip a little rub, a little massage. And then we're going to push up. If you can't get your legs in this mermaid position, just bring the legs out in front and just take a little side stretch. Very nice. Well done. Okay, so we're going into... Um, C curves. So just bring those feet forward on the floor. Knees in line, feet in line, arms forward, shoulders down. Breathing in, just tucking that tailbone under. Pulling that tummy into your spine to make sure you're using your ab muscles to bring you up to that nice sit position and up and down and up last one down and up good just relax the legs give them a little shake now this time i want you to go a little bit lower than you normally would all right, so I want you to just take it, that little notch, lower down. So breathing in, tailbone under, down that little bit further. Might start to feel that little jelly wobble, as I call it. Breathing in, scooping out, down that little bit lower. Make sure at this point you really pull that tummy in to use those core muscles to get you up. And in. Two more. Scooping out. Try not to bring the tension up into the shoulders just because you're going down that little bit further. And back up. Good. Reach the legs up and over that beach ball. Now think that someone's just put that one of your bands around your waist and they're behind you and they're pulling on that band. Feel your tummy suck in. Feel the back of your glutes, the back of your legs pushing into your mat. Really getting a lovely stretch around that lumbar, uh, lower lumbar area. And come back. Okay, I want you to take the C curve back as far as you feel. You can hold it without really feeling like you're struggling. And then we're gonna just do some little arm lifts, all right? So you need to just monitor this. If you've gone back too far, you can just pull up a bit, can't you? So breathing in, exhale, down we go. So possibly a little bit further than you would normally go. And lift, and lower, and lift and lower, up and down, up. You can really feel those core muscles working. Last two, starting to probably get that jelly feeling. Last one, breathing in, exhale, coming forward. Okay, we can do one more of those, but we'll just cut the number in half. So we're going to just do four arm lifts. So feet back flat. Don't let those knees grip in either. Make sure you've got that, imagine that fist hip width. So they are hip width. Breathing in, down we go. Fix, 
tummy button into spine, lift and lift, up and up, breathing in, exhale and reaching over that beach ball. Now that band comes round, they're pulling from behind, just to feel that extra stretch around that lower back. Ah, relax. Well done, let's turn our card around. We're on the second side. And that's nice, we're gonna go into some nice pelvic bridges. So if you've got your ball, you can put your ball between your knees because we're gonna do the the squeezes and then the hold. If you haven't got a ball, a cushion will do, or your block, or you don't really need to let, to do anything. You can just get that squeeze with the legs. So, arms forward, shoulders down, breathing in. Tuck that tailbone under, down we go for six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, bringing those feet in to where you know you need them for your pelvic bridge, making sure the ball's between your knees or your cushion. Arms, as always, can be down, half or off. Just depends how you're feeling. Okay, so we're in neutral spine. So let's roll that marble into our belly button. Feel how the back flattens off. Then you can peel off from the base of the spine. Okay, so we want to think rib to hip connection we don't want the ribs flaring up to the ceiling so pull your ribs down as if you're trying to pull your hips towards your ribs as well right from here we're going to squeeze into that ball for eight seven six five four three two one squeeze and hold now really get those glutes working. Two, one, breathing in, exhale and rolling down. One vertebra at a time. Any sticky patches, try to really work through them. Roll that marble all the way to your pubic bone. Feel how that back goes into extension. Roll the marble back to between your belly button and your pubic bone. There's your neutral spine. So now we're going to roll the marble into the belly button. Back is flat in the floor, enabling us to peel off from the very base of the spine. Up to that pelvic breath, pushing those knees away, but keeping that rib hip connection. Here we go, squeezing for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now squeeze and hold, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathing in at the top and exhale as you lower down. One vertebra at a time. All the way through, rolling that marble. Back goes into extension, back goes to neutral. Tip that marble and peel off. Rip hip connection, squeezing in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze and hold, eight, seven, Last three, hold two, squeeze one, and relax. Okay, breathing in, and just rolling down. Till you get to the bottom, and bring those knees in, and just take little circles, just massaging the back into the floor, and the other way. Let the legs go long, let the arms come over your head, 
and then just enjoy a nice full body stretch. Good. Now from here, you've got choices of coming up, haven't you? You can just bring the knees in and rock, or you can try and come up from here. So we have to think about rib to hip connection again. Pulling your tummy button in towards your spine. Lifting with the arms. And then coming up to sitting. Good. So keep practicing those if you can. So our next bit is going to be on all fours. So I'm going to get my knee cushion. And we're going to put the hands, so the wrists are under the shoulders. Head in neutral. And then all we're going to do is we're going to imagine that our, our bottom, we're a dog, and we're going to wag the tail. So we're going to just push the hips and bottom out from side to side. Don't sit back, stay tall over those wrists and just push, wag the tail. So just working into that lower spine area good the last two okay now i want you to take that leg out the back flex the foot making sure you've still got weight equally distributed between the other three limbs and push it up to the ceiling off we go ten nine Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and one, two, three, four, five, or six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Okay, from here, I want you to take that same leg. I want you to cross it out to the other side and then turn to look. Feel the stretch and back and then take it round again. You can only just about see those toes and back and last one round. and back lovely from here what we'll do is we'll go into our stretch so we're going to take that leg that's been working out the back bring your bottom down onto the heel of the other floor in <laughs> heel of the other leg into your pigeon stretch If you can't do this for any reason, so if you've got a knee, ish, knee issue or anything, then you could be doing all fours, happy cat, sad cat maybe. Anything that just gives you a nice stretch, you could roll over onto your back and do the figure four that we did last week. Okay, now slide that leg back in and let's do that all on the other side. So we get our set up first. So knee under hip, knees under hips, wrists under shoulders, head in neutral. And then we're just going to, we don't need to wag the tail this time. We're just going to take the other leg out the side, out to the back, flex the foot. Make sure you've not arched your spine, keep everything in neutral, tummy button to spine as we lift for 10, 9, 8. Two, one, and one. And ten. Two, one, good. Now, we'll bring that leg round so if you're drawing a little circle and turn and look at that toe. And bring it back and take it round. The other hip should be staying still, which is why you can't hardly just about see that toe. And back. 
and round. Lovely. Now sliding that leg out. So I'm going to go underneath the sofa <laughs> and sitting back onto that heel. Very nice. So you're really stretching through these glutes that we've just been working quite hard. And of course we, we work them earlier as well in those squats. So it's nice to give them a good stretch. Okay, and slowly coming up to sitting. Good, okay. Right, this is where hopefully you have got a band or a pair of tights. If you haven't got either, it doesn't matter because um, you can do the clam without this. So I want to take the band or the tights and tie them about a hand, hand's height, you know, sort of depth above your knee. It's a little bit fiddly to get it done, but you probably want to put it reasonably tight because it will slacken off. I'm not the world's best knotter. So this is where, if we perhaps think about, maybe I might see if people want to buy a mini band, might be a good idea, because then we can do some of the mini band work too. Because it looks as if we're in this situation for a little bit longer, should we put. Right, once you bring yourself down into your side lying position. And you can be up on your elbow if you want, that's up to you, whatever works for you. Okay, and from here we're going to start with our plan. So now we've got that resistance with the band as well. So we're going to find it a little bit harder. Remember, we're still trying to keep the hip up to the ceiling. So we don't want to be rolling back. Think about lifting something heavy up with the side of this leg. Oh no, it's gone off. Carry on. I don't know what's happened there. Keep going. And last four. Three, two, one. Now, as long as you're happy with this, if not, stick with that level and do the same. Heels off this time and up. Two, three. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, now put the legs back down and just bring them back a little bit. And this time, I want you to come up onto your elbow. So your elbow, your hips, and your feet should all be in line. If you're not happy in this position, if you've got issues with shoulder, then please stay flat. So from here, we're going to open stretch the leg, bring it down and close. So open, lift, in, close. Open, stretch, lifting up away from that imaginary fire that we often talk about when we're in this position. So we're not sunk in watching Netflix. We're lifting up using those oblique muscles. Open, up, Last one of these. Last set. So you can be doing anything that we've already done if you're finding this next level too much. Feet off, knee, leg, feet, close. Knee, leg, feet, lifting up. Three, and four. Ooh. And don't you know you've done those? Good, lovely. Okay, so you can either just roll over, or if you like me, you can just have to swing your legs around and come down on the other side. So flat, or just propped up on the elbow, whatever works for you. Knees forward, here we go. Top leg up. Now you might find that these feel a little bit easier, because the band may have just slackened off a little bit.
Last one of those. Now heels come off and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, this feels harder, doesn't it? Eight and down. So just move those feet back and knees back a little bit, coming up onto that elbow. Lifting away from the floor so we're engaging those obliques. Make sure that that elbow, bottom and heels are in the right alignment as we lift the top leg. You can really feel these muscles, I think, these oblique muscles when you try and pull up away from that mat. The last one. Now, heels off and lift. And down, and now, I know what I forgot, but never mind, we'll do them here. We're gonna do four with extending the leg, with heels on or heels off, it's up to you. So extend, feet, Close, open, open, last one, Ooh. and in, good, yeah, well done, swing those legs around and release yourself from your instruments of torture, here we go, oh, wow, I think we might feel that, I really do. So, where are we going from here? We're going to do the hamstring stretch today, which will be lovely after all the glute work and, and everything and, and that hip work we've been doing. But we've got a little bit of time left to do um, a couple of other things. So this time, uh, we're not going to lay all the way back. We're just going to come back into resting on our elbows. Now again, if that's not right for you, if that puts too much pressure through shoulders, then you just go into laying flat, okay? So just prop yourself up, bring your arms in. Try not to sink in, try and lift up again, all right? You don't want your ears and your shoulders meeting, you want them separating, okay? Peel off one leg to tail the top, peel off the other. Bring the legs up to the ceiling, and we're going to straddle out, in, out, in. So as I say, if you're finding this position is not suitable for you, then please just go flat. So really working those inner thighs and four, three, two, and one. Good, okay, bring the legs down, lower yourself down to the floor, and we're gonna do single leg stretch. Okay, so you remember your options are flat on the floor, lifted but with the hands supporting the head, or you can hold and tuck into that knee. So just do whichever option is right for you on the day. Okay, so bring the right leg to tabletop. Bring the left leg to tabletop. Breathe in and bring those ribs towards those hips. As you do that, you'll feel those tummy muscles engage and your back go into the floor. Grab hold of the right knee and change, change, change. Or you might be here. Just supporting that neck. And four, three, two, one, and release. Oh, you can really feel those core muscles, can't you? Okay, so from here, just in between each set, we could just drop the knees to the side and back up and the other side and back up, 
Okay, second set coming up, optional. If you feel you don't want to do the second set, continue with those nice little knee, um, the little oblique stretch with the knees drop into the side. If not, leg to tabletop, second leg to tabletop, breathe in, coming up, bring those ribs to the hips, squash that peach underneath your lumbar spine, and off we go, change, change. Last four, three, two, and one. Feet down, two drops of those knees. And then we've got the last set. So if you've been doing those knee drops side to side because you didn't want to do the second set, on this set, you could just bring them up to tabletop and take them side to side. Just a little bit harder, a little bit more of a challenge. If not, we're going into our third set. But we're going to double the time. So are we ready? Breathing in, coming up, holding on, and change, change. Just pushing into that peach under your lumbar spine. And change. And six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good, just drop the knees to the right, and then up and to the left, and back. Well done. Okay, so here we go. Relaxation band time. Kind of, uh, I find this quite Did relaxing. You need an no, I don't, Siri. Right, okay, so we're going to bring the band around the right foot. We're going to lower the arms to the floor so that they're just relaxed. We're going to breathe in. We're going to take that foot up the ladder three times. Maybe four, depending. To that point where you think, hmm, can't really go any further. Then you're going to flex that foot. You should feel that the back of that knee like it's going to explode. Now remember, we've got a tray of glasses on our foot. We're going to bring our knee down into our towards our chest. Keep the foot up to the ceiling. Now, if you want to put a little bit of resistance into that band at this point or those tights, you can. And if you haven't got either of those things, you'll just have to visualise pushing against something to get that little bit of resistance. So you can still do it, the whole sequence, if you haven't got a band. The last two. And one. Okay, so from here you shouldn't be able to get your leg over your head. It's as far as it would go. So I want you to gently push the other leg out long. You've got that nice L-shaped stretch going on but don't let this right leg down to the floor. Now you're gonna bring your left leg up next to your right leg, and now bring the right leg over your head. Now you've got those extra centimeters, haven't you? Okay. So we're gonna bend the left leg back down and take the leg out to the side. Make sure I'm not going to counteract yourself by putting your arm out. You don't want the left buttock to lift off the floor. So just take it where is right for you. And then you're going to just breathe in and exhale as you bring that leg up the side. Maybe two, maybe three breaths. Flexing that foot. Now we're doing the circle. So it's up to you at this point whether you keep the knee bent or whether you want to straighten the leg, all right? Depending if you think it gets in your way of your, your range of movement. Bringing that leg round. Keeping that left hip st still. Pop your hand on your left hip and make sure it's not moving. Make sure that left buttock is fixed firmly into your mat. 
We're going to get to the top, reverse the circle. Remember, it's breathe in, breathe in out. You work in the big head of that femur, just rotating in that hip socket, keeping the left side of the body completely still. Here we go. Leave it up to the top this time. Change the hands over. Now put your right hand out on the floor and bring this left leg, right leg across the left side of the body. Again, you want to keep the left buttock flat. Obviously, the right one's off. And just hold that stretch. Okay, you're going to bring it back up. And you're going to flex the foot. Now, if your left leg is not straight on the floor, like mine isn't, can you push it out now so it is straight? So that when you do lower your right leg to the floor, you really do get that feeling of what's happened and what you've released in your hip area. Okay, so nice and gently release the band let the leg come down straight and just feel the difference. So my leg feels and is, I'm sure, longer. My right hip or your right hip should feel flatter. So if there was water on your right hip, it would be running off now to the side, whereas the left, it would possibly be just sort of sitting there if there was a little pool. The right hand side of the body feels much softer. The right behind the, the glute and the thigh, it's, it's much more relaxed. There's no little gaps, it's much flatter. So think what the left side feels like now. Take a little picture in your mind and let's see if we can balance it up. So right leg bent, Left leg up to the ceiling. Yeah, just take about four minutes each side. Okay, so we're going to breathe in. Exhale, take that foot up that ceiling. Maybe three, maybe four. I don't feel I'm much, I feel tighter this side when I do this, so I can only get three. Now flex that foot. Now we're going to bend the knee in, push the foot up. We don't want the foot to go back towards the floor and lose the little bit of stretch that we've already created. Remember, you can put some resistance on this so that as the foot pushes, it's got to work a little bit harder. The leg's got to work a little bit harder. Good, last one. Now, you shouldn't be able to get it over your head any further because it should be at full stretch. And then you're going to gently just lengthen the right leg with that nice open hip stretch. Lovely blue sky out there today. Absolutely lovely. Now, bring the right foot up next to the left and ask that left leg to come a little bit closer towards you. Well done. So you can bend the right leg back down, take the band in the hand, put the right hand out on the floor, bring that leg out to the left. Keep the right hip down, breathe in, and exhale as you take it up. The imaginary ladder on the side, maybe two, maybe three breaths to get as far as you can. Flex in that foot. So the right shoulder should be flat. And now we're going to circle. So we're going down and around. So have the right knee wherever you want. It can be bent, it can be straight. But keep the right buttock down, keep the right shoulder down. And then change direction. Breathe in, breathe in out. In. Breathing out. And last one. When it gets to the top, change the band. 
into the other hand. Left arm out on the floor to counterbalance. Right and uh, left leg now pulls across the body, keeping the right side in contact with your mat. Holding that lovely IT band, that service muscle, having a lovely stretch. And from there, we're coming back up to the ceiling. We're going to flex the foot just to finish. Now, if your right leg isn't flat and straight, can you straighten it now? Keep that toe, that foot flexed. And then gradually let the band go, bring the leg down straight down. And now that leg feels longer than the other one. That hip now, if there was water sitting on it, would be rushing off the side again, like the other side. And the whole at the back of that left buttock and thigh, hamstring, should feel softer and a more spread in your mat. And you should feel more even. You might even feel a little bit more to the left because you've just finished that side. But what you have done is had a really good open hip stretch there and stretched all through your hamstrings. So we've been laying there a little while, so just need to move with a little bit of caution. All right, nothing too quick. So just bring the knees to the side, continue rolling over with the hand, bring yourself around into all fours, just taking a nice happy cat side cat stretch. Just to stretch the back out and laying on the floor. And then what I want you to do is come up to kneeling. Okay. So I want you to think nice and tall. And I want you to bring your right arm down to your right foot and the left arm up. And just hold that stretch. If you can't do this, you could still be doing some happy cat, sad cat stretches, or you can stand up and just be stretching out. Now the other way, so left arm to left foot, right arm up and over the top. Very nice. Bring the arms forward, tuck the toes under, Hips to the ceiling, walk the hands back, and gently come up to standing. Good, okay. Minute challenge on each side, and then you're done. So, bringing that foot up, deciding where you want your hands. Siri, time me a minute, please. So you'll get a minute, ladies and gents, and not a Jackie minute, which could be 45 seconds, a minute and 15. So just focus where you're looking. Have your hands wherever they work for you. Can be anywhere, but focus on lifting out of those hips. Nice and tall posture. Squeezing those core muscles. Relaxing the shoulders. Right, we're over halfway, we've done 40 seconds. So if you're finding it a bit of a struggle, just take that foot down, 45. I'll give you the count, oops, <laughs> uh, 50. There's 55. And there's your minute, sliding that leg down, bringing the other one up, and we're gonna repeat it on the other side. So have we sunk down or are we still lifted? Shoulders relaxed, nice tall posture. Pull that pelvic floor up, pull that tummy button in. Where's my timer gone? Come on, Siri.
It's good when I can see it, but he's not showing me it now. So we we'll just have to wait for my little buzzer to go off. <laughs> so I can't give you the countdown, I'm afraid, because my twine button's gone. I'm sure I press repeat, <laughs> press repeat and not stop. Feels like a long time, doesn't it? Okay, well maybe we'll just... Ah, there we are. So there is your minute. Well done. Didn't trust it, did I? Good. Okay, so just come down and give the arms just a little shake. Just roll one shoulder, roll the other shoulder. And just do that. Just from any tension that might have built up in the shoulders as you were balancing. Good, okay, we're gonna breathe in, come up on those toes. Arms come down. Heels down. And again, breathing in. Arms come down. Heels come down. Okay, breathing in. Okay, heels down first this time. Now start to melt. So you're bending the knees, bringing the elbows down towards the knees. Bottom goes out the back. Ribs to your thighs. Let your head hang over. Breathe in at the bottom. Exhale as we roll up. And come up to standing. Good, shut your eyes. Breathing in. And relax. Breathing in. And relax. Last time, breathing in. And relax. Well done, you have done. Super work. Okay, so it was a bit longer session than normal, but um, hey-ho, we've got time, haven't we, on our hands. So, hope you enjoyed that. I hope you feel really stretched out. That hamstring stretch is definitely worth spending that extra bit of time on at the end so have a good week um i'm really hoping i'm going to get some stuff for the newsletter next week because i don't think i've had anything through for this week apologies if you have sent me something but i'll have a scroll through um but i'm sure you know those christmas decorations are going to be getting very close to the edge of the loft um and coming down so hopefully we'll have a look at some of your favorite bits so have a good week and uh, take care. Um, next week will be the start of your next block. Um, so you'll get, if you're going to stay with me, which I hope you will, you'll get your Brucey bonus. So if you could bring payments in on the Saturday, that really helps. Hopefully I've managed to count four weeks this time. <laughs> Not very good at that. Um, I don't know what's happening about the halls yet. I haven't had anything from Fit Pro. Um, my interpretation of it is that we can't meet, but I am going to have another look and I will be in touch with my group um, as soon as I know any different. Anyway, take care. We're in halls next week anyway. Now, what's the date? I'm getting confused. What's the date? Let's have a look. No, so it could be that next Monday we're back in hall, but I don't think we are. So um, I will definitely check and keep you posted. All right. Anyway, take care. See you soon. Bye. Have a good week.